Have you ever watched your cat and thought, what on earth are you doing? From suddenly sprinting across the room to obsessively kneading your lap, our feline friends certainly know how to keep us entertained and hustled. But why do they do these odd things? We're going to find out today. Here are the reasons behind your cat's 10 odd behaviors. Number 10. Midnight Sprinting Let's kick things off with the notorious midnight sprints. What happens is that when it is dead silent at night and the whole world is asleep in the calm of the night, just out of nowhere, zoom, your cat starts bolting across the room, bouncing off furniture like a furry pinball. Why does your usually graceful kitty suddenly turn into a nocturnal sprinter? The reason is that cats by nature are crepuscular. This means that they are most active during dawn and dusk. This behavior is ingrained from their wild ancestors who use these late times to hunt. When your domestic cat races around your house in the middle of the night, it is actually acting on this instinctual burst of energy. Those rapid, erratic dashes are a way for them to burn off the excess energy they have stored up during the day. So what can you do to minimize those nightly escapades? Try engaging your cat in interactive play sessions in the evening. You can tire it out by using toys that mimic prey, like feather wands. By expending energy before bedtime, your cat will be too tired to practice its indoor sprints when you are trying to sleep. Number 9. Kneading Have you ever seen your cat kneading? This is when they push their paws in and out like they are making bread. It is one of those cute, odd behaviors that cats do, and there is a reason behind it. This kneading habit starts when cats are just tiny kittens. They need their mom's belly to get more milk. It feels good, so they keep doing it when they grow up. Cats also need when they are happy, like when they are cozying up for a nap or getting some love from you. But there is also a cool secret to kneading. Cats have special scent glands in their paws. When they need, they leave a little bit of their scent behind, stating that that spot is theirs. Even if a cat is feeling stressed, kneading can help them chill out and feel better. So when your cat starts kneading, they are not just being cute, they are showing love, calming their space, and feeling at home. Number 8. Sitting in anything it can Another amusing cat behavior is their odd fascination with sitting in, well, anything they can fit into. From shoeboxes to sinks, if it looks like a space they can squeeze into, they are there. But why do cats seem to have this irresistible urge? In the wild, a small enclosed space means safety and protection from predators. A cat doesn't want to be out in the open where it is vulnerable. This instinct is so strong that it carries over to our domestic cats at home. Even in the safety of your living room, a cat will seek out that sense of security by curling up in an available container. It becomes their little fortress that protects them from the imaginary dangers of the household jungle. Number 7. Eating Non-Food Items Have you ever watched in puzzlement as your cat seems determined to munch on things that clearly aren't food, like plastic bags or even your favorite sweater? This quirky and somewhat perplexing behavior is called pica, and it is more common than you think. So why do cats do this? Well, for starters, it could be boredom. To entertain itself, your cat might find that chewing on something unusual is just the distraction they need. Sometimes it is a way to cope with stress or anxiety, just like how some people bite their nails when feeling nervous. Another possibility is that your cat may be experiencing a nutritional deficiency or even an underlying health issue that drives them to seek out non-food substances. So what can you do to help your cat? You have to give them more toys and attention and make sure they are eating well. If they keep doing it, a quick trip to the vet can help figure out what's going on. Number 6. Bring You Its Kill Sometimes your cat proudly presents you with the latest catch, be it a toy, an insect, or something else. Why so? Why do cats have this seemingly generous habit of bringing you their kills? This behavior actually stems from their instincts and the way mother cats teach their kittens to eat. In the wild, a mother cat brings her kittens dead prey to teach them what to eat. By sharing her catch, she is encouraging them to hone their hunting skills. When your domestic cat drops that mouse or toy at your feet, it is actually a sign of affection and trust. In their eyes, they are sharing their catch just as they would with family in the wild. They might even think they are teaching you to fend for yourself. Number 5. Cat Eyes Your cat might ignore you all day, but then, out of the blue, it locks eyes with you and just stares. It is almost as if they have switched from aloof to intensely focused in a heartbeat. You might start wondering why my pet is suddenly staring at me. 
What have I done wrong? The thing is, when your cat's eyes dart quickly from one thing to another, it is usually a sign of excitement or interest. Maybe they have spotted a playful toy or they are curious about what you are up to. Their gaze is alert and attentive, keenly tracking every movement. But there is a gentler side of this stare as well. If your cat is also slowly, deliberately blinking its eyes, it is a sweet, silent gesture of affection from them. It is a kitty kiss, a sign that your cat is comfortable and at ease with you. Number 4. Rolling on the floor Have you ever seen your cat suddenly roll over on its back, wriggling around with a happy look? It is not just being silly, there is a reason behind it. When a cat rolls over and shows you its belly, it means it trusts you and is comfortable being around you. The belly is a soft spot, so showing it means your cat feels safe. But that's not all. Cats also roll around to leave their scent on things. They have special scent glands on their cheeks and near their tail. By rolling, they mark their territory to tell other cats that the home, the place, the human is already owned. Cats also roll over when they want to mate. Female cats tend to do this to attract male cats. On the other hand, male cats do this to passively submit to other stronger, older male cats. Number 3. Knocking things off Sometimes your cat might be sitting on a shelf, staring intently at an object, and then suddenly, with a swift paw, it deliberately knocks it off. Seriously, why? Why do cats seem to take such pleasure in sending your belongings crashing to the floor? Often, this behavior is a sign of boredom. Cats love to interact with the world around them due to their playful and curious nature. When they are feeling restless, knocking things over can be a quick source of entertainment as they watch the objects tumble and bounce. Another reason could be to grab your attention. If your cat notices that sending a vase crashing to the ground makes you come running, it might just be their clever way of saying, look at me. The solution? You should keep your cat entertained with stimulating toys and regular playtime. By providing an engaging environment and giving the attention they seek, you might just save your favorite knickknacks from taking a tumble. Number 2. Teeth Chattering Some cats have this habit of making rapid teeth chattering, especially when they are gazing out the window at birds or squirrels. It is a peculiar sound, almost like a series of quick, high-pitched chirps. This quirky behavior is often linked to their strong predatory instincts. Cats are natural hunters, and when they spot potential prey like a bird or insect, they may experience a mix of excitement and frustration because they cannot reach it. The chattering could be a response to this conflict of emotions. Some experts also suggest that the chattering mimics the sounds of birds. So chattering is their instinctual hunting tactic. Whatever the reason, this unusual chattering is just another fascinating part of a cat's complex and playful personality. Number 1. Rubbing When your cat rubs against you or stuff around the house, it is actually marking its territory. Remember when we talked about cats rolling over and leaving their scent? Well, rubbing is another way they do it. Cats have special scent glands on their cheeks and foreheads. When they rub against something, they are leaving their scent and saying, This is mine. So while it might seem like your cat is just being affectionate, it is also claiming its space and making sure everyone knows it. It is a cute and clever way for your cat to feel at home and secure. Have you noticed any other odd behavior in your cat? Share the fun things with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.